Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever been out and about and suddenly needed a file that was stuck on your home PC? It's frustrating, right? Well, today I'm going to show you how to solve that problem once and for all. We are going to set up a secure way to access all your PC files from anywhere in the world. We are going to do that by setting up an FTP server and configuring port forwarding on your router. It might sound complicated, but don't worry. I'll walk you through every step. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. Basically, it's a way for computers to share file over a network and in our case, over the internet. By turning your PC into an FTP server, you're giving yourself the ability to access your files from any device with an internet connection from anywhere in the world. All right, let's get started. The first step is enabling the FTP server feature in Windows. It's not turned on by default. So here's how to do it. First, open the Windows Features page. In the Windows Feature window, find the Internet Information Services feature and expand it. Expand FTP Server and check the boxes for FTP Service and FTP Extensibility. Also, make sure to check the box for Web Management Tools and expand it. Check the box for SIS Management Console. Click OK. Windows will install the necessary components, which might take a few minutes. OK, now that we have the FTP server components installed, let's set up our FTP site. Open the IS Manager. In the left hand pane, expand your server and right click on sites and select add FTP site. Give your FTP site a name. You can call it anything you like. For example, my FTP. For the physical path, choose a driver folder on your PC that you want to be accessible via FTP. Remember, anything you put in this folder will be accessible over the internet. Click next. For binding, Input the local IP address of your PC. You can find it by opening command prompt and typing ipconfig. Look for IPv4 address under your active network adapter. Leave the port as 21, which is the standard port for FTP. Check the Start FTP Site Automatically box. Under SSL, choose No SSL for now. We are keeping it simple for this tutorial. But in a business environment, using SSL to encrypt your connection is highly recommended for security. For authentication, check Basic. We will set up a user account later, which will use basic authentication. For authentication, select specified users from the drop-down menu and enter a username for now. For example, FTP user. We'll create this FTP user account later. Check the boxes for read and write permissions. If you only want to allow users to download files, you can uncheck write. Click finish. Great, we have our FTP site ready. Now for better security, let's create a dedicated Windows user account that will be used just for FTP access. It's not recommended to use your main Windows account for this purpose. Click on Other Users. Click on Add Account. Click on I don't have this person sign in information. Click on Add a user without a Microsoft account. Enter a username for the new user. For example, you could use FTP user. Choose a strong password and make a note of it as you'll need it later. Fill in the security questions and answers. These can be helpful if you forget your password. Click Next. The new user account FTP user should be created. Next, let's give our dedicated FTP user account the necessary permissions to access the shared folder. So, navigate to the folder you chose as the physical path for your FTP site. Right-click on the folder and select Properties. 
go to the security tab click edit click add here type the name of the windows user account you created earlier click check name to ensure that the name is recognized click okay now select the ftp user account in the group or usernames list in the permission section below check this box for full control this will give the ftp user complete access to read write modify and delete files within the shared folder click apply then okay to close the properties window next we need to make sure that windows firewall isn't blocking our ftp traffic open the windows defender firewall control panel in the left hand pane click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click change settings now in the allowed apps and features list find ftp server and make sure it's checked for both private and public networks click okay now comes the most crucial part of the setup port forwarding on your router essentially you need to tell your router that when a request comes in on port number 21 it should forward that request to your pc's local ip address to set up port forwarding log in to your router's admin panel once you are in your router settings look for a section called port forwarding you need to create a new port forwarding rule in the service name field you can name it anything like ftp server enter the local ip address of your pc enter 21 for the internal and external port fields save it also make sure to note down your router's wan ip address or public ip address we'll need it in the next step okay everything is set up Let's test if we can access the FTP server from outside our home network. Take another computer. First, disconnect the computer from your home Wi-Fi and connect it to a different network like your mobile hotspot or a friend's Wi-Fi. Now, in file manager, type ftp colon slash slash followed by your public IP address and port number. press enter enter your ftp username and password when prompted click log on and you should now be connected to your ftp server over the internet you can now access your files from anywhere in the world however sometimes due to network configurations or other issues windows file explorer might not be able to connect properly in that case we use a dedicated ftp client like filezilla which is free reliable and offers more control go to the official filezilla website and download the filezilla client run the downloaded installer and follow the on screen instructions to install filezilla on your computer launch the filezilla application in the host field at the top enter your public ip address enter the username of the ftp user account you created enter the password for that ftp user account enter 21 the default ftp port click the quick connect button Once connected, you should have access to your shared files on the right pane. Similarly, to access the FTP server from your mobile device, download and install CX File Explorer from the Google Play Store. Open CX File Explorer. Tap on the network tab and then tap on the plus icon. Select remote and then select FTP. In the host field, enter your public IP address. 
in the username and password fields enter the ftp credentials you created tap ok and you can now browse the files and folders of your ftp server you can try transferring files to and from your server to test it out and that's it you have now successfully set up your own ftp server and can access your pc files from anywhere in the world